Switzerland has never had a royal family and doesn't have a head of state who has sole executive power. Here, the Federal Council, which consists of seven members, executes public decisions. Each of the seven representatives is responsible for a department, like for instance finance or foreign affairs. But at the same time, they still share executive power and need a majority within the Council on big votes, even regarding their respective department. But how does it all come together? The members are elected by the two parliamentary chambers, one that represents the nation, the National Council, and the other, the Council of States, which represents the 26 cantons of Switzerland. Elections take place every four years in December, following the general election of the parliament. The term is four years and members can be re-elected without term limits. And generally, they decide themselves when to step down, and this can even happen during a term. Since Switzerland has four different language regions, it is mandatory that these are fairly represented. But what about political party representation? Well, since 1959, there's been an unwritten rule known as the magic formula, which means that the three parties with the most voters get two seats in the federal council, and the fourth biggest party gets one seat. But it's not set in stone. Today, on December 11th, there was an attempt by the Green Party to win a seat according to that magic formula. But despite its increasing popularity with the electorate, the party failed. So all current federal councillors were confirmed for another term. They are Uli Maurer, Guy Parmelin, Simonetta Samaruga, Ale Berse, Ignacio Cassis, Karen Keller-Sutter and Viola Amherd. Interestingly, Elisabeth Kopp was the first female councillor elected back in 1984, just over a decade after the Swiss granted the women the right to vote. Nowadays, with three female councillors and four male, the population is better represented when it comes to gender diversity. Despite Switzerland not having an executive head of state, it still needs someone to represent the nation abroad. A president is chosen by the Federal Assembly for exactly one year. In 2019, it was Uli Maurer, and next year, it will be Simonetta Somaruga.